Simon, the real estate investment trust, has engaged that typically engages in the ownership of premier shopping, dining, entertainment, and mixed use destinations, has launched Shop Simon, the quote, next phase in its journey to create the ultimate omni channel shopping experience, end quote. And man, I just read that and I got so excited. According oh to Simon's Ooh. press release, Shop Simon, available at shopsimon.com and via the Shop Simon app, offers a comprehensive single source of premium and luxury sale price products for more than 360 retailers, including Adidas, American Eagle, Cole Haan, and more. Shop Simon builds upon the success of Shop Premium Outlets, and now the expanded and rebranded digital marketplace will be adding on sale and discounted merchandise while continuing to offer outlet products from leading brands. With Shop Simon, shoppers can easily search by image or color, view similar item recommendations from their search and experience hyper-personalization to guide them through thousands of choices to land on the perfect product. I tried it out yesterday. It's pretty slick. In the future, Shop Simon will utilize Simon's nationwide network of shopping destinations and retailers to seamlessly merge the best of online and in-person shopping to get consumers what they want at the right time, including, and this is key, same-day pickup and at a great price. All right, let's go to the gingham shadow here. Uh, Dave, will Shop Simon become the standard by which American mall goers shop their malls online? So I love this. I think you yeah. kind of alluded to that. Uh, I think this is the next evolution of that omni-channel approach since they are really winning in brick and mortar. Uh, and the way in which the marketplace exists, I also went on it yesterday and the UX is great. The personalization is great. I think the brands they have there really will work together. The only thing I'm worried about is I never, I've never been to shop Simon. I've never been to Simon.com or I've never right. leveraged their app. And so do they have the credibility, which I believe they do to be this marketplace. Mm -hmm. But when they, I've, I was reading, they've done a hundred million annual website visits. I, I didn't even Right. To me, I was like, really? That that was extremely surprising to me. So maybe they do have those underlying, the underlying activity to to validate this. But to me, that's the only big piece is how do you become a premier destination in the consumer's eyes from a digital aspect? But this is the next step for them. And I, I think this makes total sense. And creating that omni-channel omni approach, the market, uh, the marketplace approach. Totally makes sense. So I'm all in on this. Yeah, yeah. No, I love it. I love it too. And I, I think your point about the customer acclimation is definitely the key point, right? But yeah, when you read the numbers, you're like, oh my God, that many people like are checking yeah. out what's at their local really mall. Surprised. Yeah, right. And so there's a couple of reasons I like that too. Like for me, it extends the reach of retail media. Like if they're getting a hundred right. million visits, this just adds to that. And second of all, like when you think about where this goes, if they enable curbside pickup too, right, Dave? Like then it enables you to shop the mall differently. Like you can coordinate right. your entire experience before you get there, which should drive even more traffic to a destination lock, like Shop Simon, which is great. And so I, the other reason I love this just self-servingly, and, and you'll remember this is I wrote an article back in Forbes in 2019 outlining the three steps that it would take to reinvigorate the malls. And basically Simon has now done two of those. The third one is is co-op fulfillment, which maybe we'll see at some time, but kudos to them for following the, the blueprint and the roadmap to and reinvigorating the mall. I love this idea. What do you think, Dan? Yeah. Oh, oh, go, sorry, go ahead, Dave. Yeah, back to you. Well, I was just going to say, I think as a brand, I love this also because it's, mm. it's unique and incremental points of distribution to your consumer. And so it's more touch points. So now, yes, I'm, I'm competing a little bit more with my competitors as it relates to this marketplace, but it also could potentially drive incremental sales and, and, and in a more of an organic, spontaneous manner. So I, I think that's great. And I'm, if as a brand, I'd be all in on this as well. And you're creating that more of that omni-channel approach. Yeah, and it's interesting too that they're they're starting off with sale priced items too, that they hit that in the press release too, which makes yeah. me think they're using this help to help clear through the inventory that many of these brands and malls need to clear through. But, and what do you think? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't, know that I have much to add. I think it's kind of a no duh that like a mall should have the best digital marketplace available for the brands that are inside their walls. Like it helps with leasing. Well said. It, it helps with other, you know, traffic drivers to the mall online and offline. Everybody wins. I think it's just going to come down to, you know, what we were talking about earlier and that's getting traffic to shopsimon.com. Like how are they doing, how are they getting that 
taken care of to like make that the destination that I'm searching for. But I also, I have to commend them. Like if you look at it, you, one of the things that I think is really important is looking under the hood and they are, you can upload images and search. So they, they have invested heavily in things I imagine like computer vision to make sure that, you know, when I upload a photo or if I'm looking for something or that they're using that kind of thing to really be able to scrape so that if I search for something, I'm getting good results back because it's only this, this app, this shopping experience is only as good as the search results that are returned. And I think that they, it looks like they've invested pretty heavily in making sure that I'm going to have a quality experience as a consumer. So yeah, I, I think it's great. I think it makes sense. Yeah. I, the no dog comment and what you said after that just totally nailed this, you know, in, 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 in my mind too. Brooks, what's your thoughts? You got any, any other insights or wrinkles you'd add to this conversation? Well, I'm just going to echo the, the no dog comment. Look, for, I'm from New Jersey, so I love everything malls. <laughs> and I love the vision for the outlet channel here. I mean, that was begging for more online sell through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So no duh. No <laughs> duh. Way to go, Simon. You're a, you got the no duh seal of approval. I'm, I'm glad that that's, that's what's going to resonate from this podcast.